Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares. May 5th. Despised and rejected. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Isaiah 53 verse 3 How few have any conception of the anguish which rent the heart of the Son of God during his thirty years of life upon earth. The path from the manger to Calvary was shadowed by sorrow and grief. He was the man of sorrows and endured such heartache as no human language can portray. He could have said in truth, Behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. Lamentations 1 verse 12 His suffering was the deepest anguish of the soul, and what man could have sympathized with the soul anguish of the Son of the Infinite God? Hating sin with a perfect hatred, he yet gathered to his soul the sins of the whole world, as he trod the path to Calvary, suffering the penalty of the transgressor. Guiltless, he bore the punishment of the guilty, innocent, yet offering himself to bear the penalty of the transgression of the law of God. The punishment of the sins of every soul was borne by the Son of the Infinite God. The guilt of every sin pressed its weight upon the divine soul of the world's Redeemer. He who knew no sin became sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. In assuming the nature of man, he placed himself where he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, that by his stripes we might be healed. In his humanity, Christ was tried with as much greater temptation, with as much more persevering energy than man is tried by the evil one, as his nature was greater than man's. This is a deep, mysterious truth that Christ is bound to humanity by the most sensitive sympathies. The evil works, the evil thoughts, the evil words of every son and daughter of Adam pressed upon his divine soul. The sins of men called for retribution upon himself, for he had become men's substitute and took upon him the sins of the world. He bore the sins of every sinner, for all transgressions were imputed unto him. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Hebrews 2 verse 3 Our Father cares. May 5th.